So Osani Emakusine Tamaku. Thank you for joining me for another video. In this video, I will be teaching about Amasivo and what they are from a biblical perspective um, and how important it is to continue in them. Um, these are things that we ought to be discussing in our homes or being taught by our elders, but it rarely or seldom happens until something actually happens um, or an event occurs that requires um, us to do research. So let's get into it. Isigo is the singular word, um, Zulu word for culture, and in its plural form, it is called Amasiku. So translations would be the custom, practice, or habit of um, a people. So as we look at this um, in the Bible, we will be looking at uh, where Amasigo come from and how important they are and how to look at this Bible when we read this Bible. So when we look at the Bible, the culture in which we practice here in the South, um, in Sub-Saharan Africa, is what we know in Zulu as Amasigo. It is what the Bible refers to as the laws of God. They are the customs, the traditions, and rituals that God gave Moses. We read here in Deuteronomy chapter 4, from verse 1, and now Israel, listen carefully to these decrees and regulations that I am about to teach you. Obey them so that you may live, so that you may enter and occupy the land that the Lord your God, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. Do not add to or subtract from these commands I am giving you. Just obey the commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you. God gave the Bantus a way of life, or a, in other words, he gave them a constitution by which they should live in order to prosper. In Ezekiel um, chapter 20, it reads, There I gave them my decrees and my regulations so that they could find life by keeping them, meaning you would live and you would prosper if you followed this, um, if you followed these laws these customs, these rituals, um, these regulations, these decrees. And if they observe the culture, okay, this culture would help them prosper. This culture would return blessings, give them life. But not only just that, it would also help to um, rectify or eradicate any spiritual dis-ease or disease um, that would take place. So in fact, it would heal. It has the power to heal. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 reads, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning neither either to the right nor the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. It says, only then will you prosper and succeed. Only when you do and perform the customs, the rituals, the traditions of your culture will you succeed only then deuteronomy 4 reads from verse 5 look now i teach you look i now teach you these decrees and regulations just as the lord my god commanded me so that you may obey them in the land that you land you are about to enter and occupy obey them completely and you will display your wisdom and intelligence among the surrounding nations when they hear all these decrees, they will exclaim, How wise and prudent are the people of this great nation! 
For what great nation has a God as near to them as the Lord our God is near to us whenever we call on him? And what great nation has decrees and regulations as righteous and as fair as this body of instructions that I am giving you today? So these laws would distinguish them from all other nations around them. They needed to hold fast to them. This is because it was their wisdom and their understanding, their intelligence, and therein they would find life and live long. God always encouraged them not to act, as you see here in Leviticus 18, like the people in Egypt where you used to live, or the people in Canaan where I am taking you. You must not imitate their way of life. It would just cause confusion and it would put them under curses it would lead them into rebellion because they were serving other gods Sirach chapter 24 reads wisdom is the law the law which Moses commanded us to keep the covenant of God the most high the inheritance of the synagogues of Israel this means that within our culture or the law or Amasig lays the the revelation and embodiment of God himself. So we understand that the word and God are one, okay? Uh, We also need to look at it that the word and the law are one thing because they proceed out of the Father, okay? So when Msindisi was saying, I am the word, or when it says that he is the word, it means that he is the law in itself. And for those who don't understand him, Sindisi is the name I refer to uh, when I'm speak to, speaking about uh, Jesus. When Sindisi said he is the way, the truth, and the life, he was talking about the law. Or Amasigo. Okay. That is the embodiment of the law. Okay. And if he is the body embodiment of the law, he could not come to abolish the law or the prophets. Okay. He said, Think not that I've come to do that. Since God said they ought to be practiced throughout all generations. He said he came not to abolish them. Instead, he says here to keep the commandments, keep the law, keep doing it. He didn't come to abolish your culture. He said, if you want to live, if you want to enter into life, keep the law, keep the commandments. And you will live over and over. We are being told that very thing. He added, take to heart all the words of warning I have given you today. Pass them on as a command to your children. So they will obey every word of these instructions. These instructions are not empty words. They are your life. By obeying them, you will enjoy a long life in the land you will occupy when you cross the Jordan River. He told the Bantus to teach the next generation these instructions, these rituals, customs, um, traditions, because it was and still is their inheritance. It is our wisdom, our way of life. Okay. And by doing them, we remain blessed, strong and unified. But by forsaking them, we become cursed, weak, and scattered. It is our responsibility to do them. But we have a choice whether we choose life or we choose death. I want us to remember that all the denominations that we see today are errors or stem from the Catholic Church the very very people that wanted to subjugate us into physical mental emotional slavery so it is important for me to say that christianity and all its forms of denominations are just traditions and 
doctrines of men designed to make you rebel against God and put you under curses. We shouldn't put the words of men above the words of God. We ought never to forsake our culture because because it is the law, the constitution of the Bantus. It is your wisdom and therein is life. As Msindisi said, if you will have life, if you want life, keep the commandments. Tzolozan.